and welcome. In this video, we're going to add on to what we did last time. Last time we looked at a few different news channels and we looked at how to stream them using MPV. So if you want to use your own media player, that way you don't have to worry about um, you know ads and whatnot on the channel or just because you like using your media player such as I do. Um, but today we're going to look at actually downloading some of those videos. So let's work in reverse. Well, last time we ended on NBC-2.com, which is my local news channel one of the local news channels. And again, these are just the, the first channels that came up in a web search. I'm not promoting any news channel. I know that's a touchy subject these days. I actually try not to watch any news channel. Um, but here, this they stream using YouTube. So it's very easy. I can grab their YouTube URL here. And I have YouTube DL installed. Uh, so YouTube-DL which you can install from your repositories most of the time, but it's one of the few programs I do suggest, uh, YouTube-DL, going to their website and going to downloads, and they give you instructions right here, either using curl or wget, it's just two commands, it's download it and make it executable, download it and executable, you can also use pip if you want to, I usually just use one of these first two commands, and the reason for that is because um, YouTube DL allows you to download files, not only from YouTube, but a lot of different sites, and especially YouTube, they change their website a lot to help, to, to prevent people from, from doing this, uh, and usually within 24 hours, YouTube DL is updated, but it's not necessarily updated in your repositories that fast. So it's very, uh, I would want, since it needs to be updated so much, I would use this. And then you can just use, once it's installed, you can do sudo YouTube DL dash capital U and type in your super secret password. And we'll check to see if you're at the latest version. And I am up to date. I updated it yesterday or the day before. In fact, I've been meaning to put it in a cron job. So it tries to do that once a day. Anyway, you have to have YouTube DL installed. And what we're going to do is we're going to say YouTube DL, and they're just going to give it the URL. So we'll go back here, we'll go back here. I'll just copy this and paste that URL, and it will start downloading that live stream. Great. So if we open this up, I open up another shell here. I can list this out. I can list these files out. You can see this file right here. It's downloading. It's 2.8 megabytes. I check it again. It's now 4. I'll check it again and it's at five, so it's downloading that file. It's downloading the live stream. YouTube DL does all the work for you on a channel like YouTube, such as that. And then when I'm done, I can come up here and I can just hit uh, Control C to kill that. The only issue with that is, oh no, it worked that time. Sometimes if you, I, I did hit Q first. I'm not sure if Q killed it or my Control C. If you kill it and it still has the dot part, you might just want to remove that, but we should be able to check that and it says here that it is an MP4 file. I can now MP4 or MPV that MP4. And when I hit that, it's going to play what we just downloaded. So we downloaded the stream as it was going. You know, we didn't get anything before we were recording, uh, but as we're recording, it's downloading it as it goes. So that's one way to download a live stream as you're going if it's on a simple YouTube website. But luckily, YouTube DL also makes it easy to download from other sites as well. So let's go back here. And we'll go uh, back up. Now we'll go to cbsnews.com. And, uh, and we'll open up our console. Again, uh, you can hit F12 or Control-Shift-I in um, Chrome. I'm going to clear this and click Watch. And then we'll filter here. Again, we'll look for our M3U. We'll grab that first one here. I'll say copy this URL. And we should just be able to say YouTube DL. And then in quotations, paste that M3U file. And YouTube DL knows how to look at that M3U file, and now it's downloading that M3U. Again, we can go like this, and it's going to, by default, name it the name of that file, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, so if I list this out, you can see here that we've downloaded uh, 6.8 megabytes so far. If I run it again, you see now that it's eight. So it is growing. If I come back up here, let me hit Q real quick, see what happens. It's still going. Okay, so in this particular case, I'm going to hit Control C to kill that. I don't know if there's a better way to do that, but I'll Control C because there's a second to finish up. And now we will list out our files again. In this particular case, it left that dot part there. So what I'll do is I'll, in this case, I'll just move that file. So master to master. So it's just named MPV, MP4, just so it doesn't have that part at the end. But I should be able to say, play that file now, and it is playing what we have recorded. You can see we recorded 42 seconds worth of the stream. Uh, so a few things there. We did it uh, when we hit Control-C, it left that dot part at the end, and then we had to rename it. And it's also named 
Uh, here at mastercbsnews.mp4, uh, which isn't too bad, uh, but if we go back up to our YouTube DL here, you can see, uh, I guess it did pull that name from there. I was going to say, anyway, we should be able to say dash O and give it a name, and I'll just call it cbsnews.mp4. I'm pretty sure that's the argument for that. And there we go. It's now downloading it. And I can hit Control C. And in this particular case, since I gave it a uh, name there, let's see what happens. No, it did do a dot. There is a command in for for it, so it doesn't add that part. So real quick, let's just move uh, this to this, and now we can do this. CBS News, and again, it streamed it or downloaded the stream. Real quick, because uh, I forget the command. Let's do man YouTube dash DL. Oh, I guess I don't have the man page for it installed. Probably because I downloaded it from the website rather than using my repositories. There is a command to tell it not to put the dot part. The dot part is just because it's while it's downloading it, it calls the dot part because it's partially downloaded. And then when it's done, it usually removes it. But since I killed it, it's not removing it. There's probably a better way to kill it, kill the process. But I know there's also an argument. Uh, let's do YouTube DL dash H for help. And let's grep part. There we go. No part. Boom. So we should be able to run this command again. And we'll say dash dash no part. And we'll just call this underscore two here. So we'll run that for a moment. Give it a couple seconds. So that it downloads some of it. And after a few seconds, I'll hit control C. And in this particular case, it didn't have the dot part. So that's how you would prevent that dot part in this particular case. MPV, I should be able to play what we captured. So there we go. So uh, yeah, MP or YouTube DL is a great uh, program for downloading, not only from YouTube, from other sites. A lot of other sites you can give it just you know the, the, the URL from the page, but lots of times that doesn't work. Uh, but I do want to show you, that's what I wanted to show you, I just remembered. Um, so we have this URL to the playlist. If you try to just w get that, what you're going to get is the playlist. So I did that, and you can see it's right here. And if we cat that out, um, master that it's it's the playlist information. So it's grabbing the playlist information, which is giving a list of other playlists. Again, I think these are different qualities. Uh, and M3, or sorry, YouTube DL is smart enough to know that I gave it a URL that it's going to use that domain, that base URL to add to this to get these files. So it's just, it does a lot of the legwork for you. And actually it says right here, yeah, these are different qualities. So uh, this master one is, looks like the highest resolution. Here's the frame rate um, with a different bandwidth. And then you have different resolutions here. So you could specify if you wanted the lower quality one, you could tell it to look at this file instead of this master file. Uh, so we should be able to um, just replace that in here, I think. Let's see. Cross my fingers that this, oh, and we don't want that. We want the YouTube-DL. And we'll do dash O. CBS underscore test dot MP4. Let's see if that works. Yep. So now we should theoretically be downloading the lower quality, the lower resolution stream. So I will kill that. List out my files here. And when it's done, okay. Last message repeated one time. Control C list. So here it is. We will move that to that without part because I didn't do the no part thing. And if we were to play that, CBS underscore test. Oh, something that time it didn't work. If I do file CBS underscore test, it says it's medium. Maybe I killed it before it captured enough. Something went wrong there. But theoretically, you should be able to capture different um, qualities if you wanted. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. Here, that's just options on how to download the videos. So check it out. Have fun with that. And uh, if you didn't watch the previous video, watch the previous video because I showed you how to use the WGET to pull the M3U files from at least the CBS website.
I do thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and visit my website, filmsbychris.com. There you can search through all my videos. Uh, you can also go up to the support section. And there you can donate with PayPal or become a Patreon supporter just by clicking on these links. And if you like my videos, I would appreciate that. If you can't afford the money, go ahead and think about um, uh, you know, just liking this video and sharing it with others so I get more views. Because the more people who watch, the better. I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.